Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Being famous sure does sound like fun, but getting there can be quite difficult. There are thousands of famous people, so how do you stand out from the rest and make a name for yourself? Easy, you hide your identity. The minute you create a level of mystery about yourself, there will be thousands of people drawn toward you who will be curious to find out more about you. And that's what many have done. Today we're going to show you 5 of the most famous faces revealed ever. Wait till the end to find out who's behind Daft Punk. Number 5. Dead Mouse. First up on our list is Dead Mouse. 20 years in his career playing around with music, Dead Mouse has earned quite a reputation with the crowd because of his alternative identity. Dead Mouse might be a funny name, but the story as to why the name came into being is even more interesting. Joel Thomas Zimmerman, also known as Dead Mouse, is a Canadian electronic music producer, DJ, and musician who's been in the music industry for more than 20 years now. He might be 39 years old, but at heart, he's still a young boy nostalgic for his teens. Want to know why we're talking about his teens? Well, that's when the name Dead Mouse first came into being. When Joel was a young boy, he found a dead mouse inside his computer. This dead mouse then turned into a joke in his friend group and all of his friends started to call him Dead Mouse. When his music career turned into a hit, Zimmerman thought of making it even more fun by creating a stage look for himself. This is when he sat down and designed a mouse for himself. Later on, as the logo turned into a hit, he turned it into a funny mask with huge mouse ears. Now, whenever this six-time Grammy-nominated musician comes out to play in front of a huge audience, he wears his mouse mask and likes to call himself Dead Mouse. Funny how the name stuck, right? Make sure your friends don't catch you with something embarrassing, or you might have to deal with it all your life. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Number 4. Cassettes Turns out people from Sweden are really into the concept of hiding their identities and playing around with masks too. Wondering why we're saying this? Well, keeping Mike Candies aside, there's a Swedish duo who's famous for their stage style. Cassette is a duo of two guys from Sweden called Alexander Bjorklund and Sebastian Furr. These two guys started up their brand of music in Sweden back in 2011. Ever since then, they've had a pretty low profile as well and are famous with the European crowd. Right from the start, they realized they wanted to expand their horizons and came up with a creative way to make it happen. Any idea how they planned on standing out from the crowd? Well, you guessed it, they used artistic masks to make it happen. As the name indicates, they created huge three-dimensional cassettes which they put on their heads while they perform. By adding cassettes into their permanent look, they've chosen it as a logo to represent themselves and you might even find a lot of their fans wearing cassette lockets around their necks. Sounds fun, right? Well, this duo has recently split up and Alexander Bjorklund is the sole person behind cassettes now. You may not be able to witness both of them performing together live in their cassettes, but you can still look them up and watch their past performances. Number 3. Banksy Another hugely famous person who has left his fans confused and curious about his appearance is Banksy. For those of you who don't know, Banksy is one of the most famous graffiti artists in the world right now. Age 47, this man has left thousands of people amused and awed with his work. He's an England-based street artist, film director, and political activist who's been showing his art in the form of graffiti. His street art is usually a combination of dark humor combined with graffiti. For many years, people have been wondering who this creative mastermind is. The confusion about his identity went on for so long that people started suspecting that Robert Del Naha of the band Massive Attack is the person behind these gorgeous pieces of graffiti. But then later on, fans ditched the theory about Robert because they couldn't find any possible proof or evidence linking him to the graffiti. Nowadays though, people believe it's Robin Cunningham. He has been spotted by paparazzi in Jamaica sitting around with some graffiti utensils. What's more surprising is that this was the same time some Banksy art was found in Jamaica. 
This theory about Robin was still not confirmed until a few years ago. A few years ago, Banksy was found unveiling a prank that was 10 years old. 10 years ago, Banksy installed a piece of his art in a shredder. Now 10 years later, when the artwork was finally sold at an auction, he chose to shred it by using a remote control. A stunt that sent gasps through the crowd. But right then, during the event, someone caught Banksy filming himself shredding it. Later on, there's a video on Banksy's Instagram account filmed exactly from the perspective that people caught him filming. Looks like we caught him. Maybe he needs to do a better job at hiding himself. Before we move on to today's subscriber pick, we have an honorable mention for you, which will completely shock you. Mike Candies You might be thinking that Candies is a funny last name, but wait till you hear more about him. His unusual last name is not his unique characteristic. Similar to other celebrities who like to hide their face when on stage, Mike Candies has somewhat of the same idea. Mike Candies, whose real name is Michael David Cole, is a Swiss music producer and dance DJ. This Swiss producer had a pretty low profile music career, but he soon turned it into a huge hit when his single Together Again hit the billboards and got him to world recognition. This happened in 2010, and ever since then, Mike Candies has been a huge name in the world of DJs. Coming to his alternative look, Mike likes to wear a huge mask on his head when on stage. This mask will make you smile as it is yellow and makes him look like a huge emoji man. According to Mike, he always wanted to give his audience something more than music. He wanted to give them a whole show that they can remember for a long, long time. For this purpose, he tried to add a mask into his outfit that would compliment him. Unlike other musicians, he didn't pick one mask and stick to it. No, Mike tried a lot of masks, including aliens and dragons, and then finally settled on the yellow smiling emoji. Now, even if his songs don't leave a huge impact on his audience, the huge smiley face is bound to stay in people's minds for a long time. Good work, Mike. And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. If you come across a photo online, you want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it in a future video. Number 2. Marshmallow This American DJ reached the height of fame in very short time. Marshmallow's music career started from SoundCloud when he posted a track in 2015. Within a year, his music became the highlight of the world of electronic music and he quickly secured a spot in the top 10 best DJs in the world. Even though his spectacular music is a huge reason he got all that fame, his outfit was another part of him that made him stand out from the crowd. Marshmallow always tends to wear all white clothes with a huge mask on his head. This mask is white as well and it has a smiley face on it. Of course there have been tons of speculation by fans wondering who Marshmallow is, but all that came to a stop a while back. This was when fans started to believe that Marshmallow is the American DJ Christopher, also known as .com. Fans have a lot of evidence as to why they think both the artists are one. Christopher has a lot of music that is very similar to Marshmallow's, plus fans spotted some tattoos on his legs that looked exactly like Marshmallow's. Lastly, one final proof was when an American DJ Skrillex got a call from Chris in an interview and he picked up the call referring to Chris as Marshmallow. And uh, who's that right now? Chris. Oh, Marshmallow. Oh, Marshmallow. Marshmallow. I'm gonna sh be funny to Number one, Daft Punk. Saving the best for the last, here we have our last celebrity duo, Daft Punk. Even though these two need no introduction, let us tell you a little bit about them for those of you who've been living under a rock. Daft Punk is a French electronic music duo. This duo might have been created back in 1993, but they're still a sensational hit all over the world. Their music has topped the charts numerous times and has gotten worldwide ratings. They have tons of nominations and a total of 7 Grammys under their belts. All of this might seem fascinating to you, but what's interesting is that they've managed to achieve all of this without having to show their faces. When doing live performances or attending any events, the duo will always be seen in large shiny helmets. These helmets are gold and silver in color and are part of their identity. Even though one might think that they pulled the helmet trick to gain attention, but they had an even more interesting reason behind using the helmets. 
In an interview with Rolling Stone, the duo admitted that the line between reality and fiction interested them, and they decided to create fictional characters for their performances. This little trick of adding helmets to their outfits not only helped them in creating a new identity, but because of it, they can also go out in public without getting surrounded by paparazzi or fans. Talk about killing two birds with one stone. Which one of these face reveals surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.